Hello and welcome to my Delphi blog. Today we want to have a look at the MMX Explorer, a tool that helps to manage your Delphi source code. Um, at first we make an installation and then a short overview and some um, helpful functions. I think I will split this in a short series. Always when I have uh, <laughs> new experiences, I will make a short video about this. So let's start now. I uh, want to install it on another PC. Uh, so I have uh, make um, a remote connection to this and I go to the, first we go to the standard and make MMX Explorer site there you can download the current uh, official version um, that is uh, then officially supported just until to Delphi 12.1 but there is also a beta page then there you can download the version that is uh, currently running also with Delphi 12.2. It is a better version, but um, as I can see, it's really relatively um, reliable, and I would recommend uh, that you download this version if you working with Delphi 2.2. But uh, pay attention: you have to select this left button and then not this right button. So I press this button and download the installation program so then let's install this And here you can uh, now, in the new version, you can select for which um, Delphi IDEs this should be installed. I uh, select in this case only uh, Delphi 12. And so we are ready. You have got some information here, what you can read then. So, and then let's start Delphi 12.2 and let's open a simple Delphi project and we can see here in the main menu uh, we have the MMX menu and there we can access for example the very important code explorer by default it will directly install itself here into the navigation but you can also drop it out here and leave it aside or choose another position. I close it for the moment only to say that you have on also access to this commands from the right click menu from the editor and then you have a lot of uh, possibilities here. But I will go back to my main development computer. There I can you show more special things. So here in my main development environment, I have integrated the MMX Explorer window here aside into the IDE. And I have therefore minimize the structure window a little bit so that I have a direct access to the MMX Explorer. And you should know there are something that you can do more or less only with the uh, MMX Explorer here on the left side. And some things are better or only accessible from this context menu of the editor. I will give you some demonstration for functions that I found that were very helpful and yeah let's start. Another interesting thing what you can do with the MMX Explorer 
is to delete function that you no longer use. For example, I used here in a form that I have copied, uh, so I don't not use all the functions here inside. Instead of going into the source code to every position uh, there are and deleting them here in the implementation and also perhaps in the class information, I simply select them here into the M Explorer content view window and I select one can select more than one functions and right click and simply set delete and all these functions are gone. Very helpful is also the renaming a functionality for, for example, on click events. I have here an SEG toolbar click, what is at least a button click. So I double click on it and um, in the Explorer I just double click or press F2 and then I can rename it to BN toolbar click. I'm now asked what I want to do. I can select here an entire tfprox and all is renamed. Very nice is also the possibility to uh, change the sorting here of your methods in the class. Therefore you can select the main menu MMX and then sorting. There are several options. For example, you can do it manually here with rearrange members and you have this window and you can simply use uh, drag and drop. For example, here I want to move the end toolbar click to the other buttons and I simply drag and drop it this position and click enter and then so it is here. So let's try another option. We select sorting again and now default sort class and now we have this result so we can see it's uh, ordered by letters from A to Z. But only a short hint before you do your sortings. You should have a look here at the settings um, dialog of the MMX Code Explorer here under the menu option sorting. You have several possibilities how you uh, have an influence about the sorting order and options. Simply read it and decide what you want here. A very helpful thing is also the function mm, extract method that I often use. To make it more understandable, I show you short what I want to do. I have here in my program a dialog uh, where I can edit bookmarks. This is uh, the dialog and I want to set and get the data from uh, this dialog. So I have already extracted a portion of this function where I fill the dialog. This is this one. I have moved this part of the source code in this new function. And I want to show what also could happen if you do this. You can see now here on the right side and the new Delphi 12.2 we have also the information where something is wrong so I click just here to this position and we can see the program has now a problem with a moved uh, with a structured method and the reason is that it needs this unit web favorites what is now needed because I call a parameter from it and so I simply have to add this unit here in the users clause and all works fine and all errors are gone. So now we come to the second part where we also extract this portion of source code 
that we get when we have edited the data in the dialog. And therefore I select uh, this portion of code that I want to extract. So, and then I simply right click, choose MMX commands and extract methods. And here we can see a little program. It has automatically recognized that there is an selected item, the T list item in the source code and want to give this as parameter. But I don't need this, so I simply moved this to the position behind so that I don't have to give it over as parameter. And I call this functionality again. And now this is gone, but I have first set a new name. Uh, I name it um, get book marks data. I choose as a public and I have to add now an, another parameter. Therefore I click here add on the on this button for art. And I name it VF and it's in this case web favorites. It's a procedure here that we can leave so as it is. And what we could do also, um, I don't want to leave the old code in the procedure where I uh, as extracted. I said then remove. And what we can do also that we checked here um, that we won't have a class method. So we can use this method also from another unit even if this class or this form isn't created. So for this moment that is all and I click on OK. And now we have here the new functionality, the new the call for the function. Can have a look at it. Yeah. It's fine. So and now I can use this um, extracted methods from this class also in another form. I have here added a pop-up uh, for this uh, list box and here we simply create the dialog and then set bookmark data that fills the uh, dialog with the current um, data from the database. And if the dialog is um, comes back, we set data from the dialog to the database and update the viewing here of this page and all is fine. So this helps a lot and makes programming easier. Uh, one thing I've forgotten to mention if you go to the directory of the MMX Explorer, then you find there also one manual. Here this MMX manual PDF. It's a little bit behind the time from uh, 2018, but nevertheless is very helpful. You have here a um, table of content where you can click on and it jumps to the position and you have also on the left side here navigation menu where you can directly go to. So I would recommend to have a look into this document. It will answer also some question you might have. But as I mentioned before, it is a little bit out of date. So for example, you find here an information about trial limitations. And here that the program uh, will deinstall uh, itself after 29 days. That's all wrong. There is no trial and uh, you can use the tool as long as you want. Two more remarks. You might have noticed in this dialog that some texts are shortened or cut it. The reason is that I use a bigger font in the Delphi IDE. What I have done with settings here in my uh, Pascal Project Manager and Editor, I 
change the standard font from 9 to 10 because font size of 9 was too small for me. So that's when you have make no changes it will all look well for you. And the other remark is if you use uh, Ctrl F12 you will find a replacement for the no normal dialog. I have here also this um, problem with a cut -it text. But there is a solution for things like this if you don't like this dialogue uh, or another dialogue who replaces the standard dialogue. You can go to MMX um, and to the settings and here into the key bindings that we find here. And we can simply deactivate the shortcut Control F12. Here. Simply by pressing the delete key and then this key is um, gone. This assignment is gone and if I now use control and F12 I have the old dialog available. Yeah, that's all for the moment. If you are interested to see and hear more about the MMX Explorer so Please write it into the comment and um, give the video a like and uh, perhaps you grab also an abo and see you next. That was all for today. Bye bye.